So people, we have a patch incoming to the Outriders demo, which will affect the way in which we farm that beautiful loot. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders, be sure to subscribe. So literally 10 minutes ago for me starting to make this video, a Square Enix on the official Outriders Reddit dropped a post uh, discussing changes coming to the demo. All platforms, early next week and some changes even coming from tomorrow which will be the 5th of March. Now the entire post you'll find linked within the video description if you do want to check out it all for yourself in your own time. I will showcase it all on screen but we'll just read through the important part so let's go. So they start with patching the demo. We currently have a patch in the pipeline and are intending to release it as soon as it is past testing likely early next week and here's what it will address and its resolutions that apply to all platforms added a motion blur toggle made minor tweaks to frame rate output for certain items in cutscenes however we are working on a more comprehensive fix for the future made improvements to cut down on the time it takes to matchmake made other minor improvements and fixes additional resolutions that apply to pc only Fixed a crash that repeatedly occurred when opening a menu or inventory. Fixed a bug that deletes player gear if their connection drops out during a transition. Improved subtitle display and synchronization during a bed day quest. Additional resolutions that apply only to Xbox platforms. Fixed menu prompts not displaying correctly in supported non-English languages. And additional resolutions that apply to PlayStation platforms. Fix door links on the buy now button in the lobby. Now that while well, the in-game button will be fixed with the patch, you can still search the PlayStation Store for Outriders should you wish to already pre-order it. Fix a bug that was causing an audio desynchronization in cutscenes. Okay, so changes to the demo. A backend update to the demo will be done during a short maintenance on Friday, March 5th at 3 p.m. GMT. This will affect all platforms. The change should be quite seamless and will not require you to download a patch. We are pre-announcing it right now in order to give you advance notice of the changes. Some of these changes, specifically those related to enemies, are in response to feedback we've seen coming in from players as well as what our own backend metrics are showing us. Other changes are intended to only affect the demo and may not be implemented into the full launch build. We would like to issue a explanatory note of caution before getting into the changes while we have balanced the main game with a certain progression system. This progression may be impacted by heavy farming of gear and slash or mods in the demo, as some players are front loading a lot of the progression, such as trying to fill their mod library and acquire multiple legendaries within the demo content already. Their experience of parts of the main game may well be impacted. Of course, it's every player's decision how to play the game for themselves and we do not want to prevent people from farming the demo for gear if they enjoy it. However, we would like to ensure that this progress is not overly simplistic, easy or prone to exploitation. What's changing? Changes to captains. The captain mob ability healing light will have its effectiveness reduced. The captain mob ability from the ashes and phoenix aura will have their cooldowns increased. Some players will find it hard to fully kill captains who would trigger these abilities, making for a frustrating rather than challenging but fun encounter. Changes to Gorse. Gorse will have his health points increased for repeat playthroughs. This is to ensure that he remains fun and challenging for players who are overpowered at this point in the story. Gorse healing from his ability Steel Wall will be increased. Changes to Loot Drops. Oh, here we go, people. While we do not want to prevent farm runs, we get it. The loot cave discovered via the triple chest run, as well as the store exploit, do not feel to be within the spirit of the game. To that end, we are redirecting farming efforts to mechanics in the game that may be more enjoyable for players to play through and repeat. Epic items will no longer appear in shops and vendors within the demo. Wow! Chests will no longer drop legendary items! Wow! Side quest rewards on repeat runs will now have a chance to drop a legendary item, so that's cool too. Drop rates for enemies are not being changed at this time as we feel these are balanced quite well for the average player experience. Note that running this backend update now is also a way for us to preemptively ensure that such backend balancing can be straightforward, allowing pet method of also rectifying any excessive balance issues in the main game. 
and other things they are addressing if you want to read through them on screen now we have camera shake during cutscenes and dialogues matchmaking the cover system items disappearing from player inventories which i know some people are actually worried about and it's happened to them quite a lot and we also have cheating and players using obvious exploits here they state we are aware of a handful of players who are using third party software to alter the game files and save data in their favor well, we cannot go into details in order to not give such players an insight into our systems. We would like to ensure all regular players that we are able to identify cheaters with relative ease via our back end system and that their actions should not affect your regular playing or your co op experience. But yeah, guys, I can't believe the patch in the chest, people. I can't believe it. I mean, the captain now is going to die so much more. And I guess what this is, because I've mentioned this on my stream quite a few times, that during, like, say, for instance, World Tier 15, imagine doing a chest run on that World Tier 15 with that increased loot, that increased chance of loot drops. I mean, it would just be stupid easy. And I did predict this, that they may uh, affect chests. They may take legendaries out of chests within the full game. This seems like a starting point for that. Now, like I said, these changes, which will affect loot drops, arrive tomorrow, the 5th of March. Funny enough, I did a video earlier today, which I'll still drop later, which showcases the best farming method, which includes the chests as well. And we more or less have about 15 hours left to do that. But yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comment section. Wow. Wow, people big changes for sure but on that note we have come to the end if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one